this God forsaken team seeking romance and excitement they stole the board train that was destined to be robbed by the doing dog gang little girls want outlaws the good boys they can't stand they want Outlaw man, little girls, they want outlaws, not buttons or bows. They want shootouts and the holdups that an outlaw man controls. Now Ned Buntline wrote the stories of the outlaws way out west. Dalton's and the James Gang and Old Bill Doolin too. They rode across the pages, shooting their way through. now that everybody's been introduced. Mr. Newcomb, just slow down a minute. We don't want anybody hurt. Let's see if we can't salvage what appears to be slim pickings. Folks, Bill Doolin. Bill Doolin! That's right. And you're, uh... Oh, boy. Harley Hopkins. Great pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hopkins. And I can see by the way you brought all these good folks front and center, that you're a born leader. Are you an honest man? Oh, I am that, if anything. Well, tell me, is there anything on this train that might be of interest to me and my men and others of our ilk? I swear, not a cent, Bill. What is this, a social? I don't think you are an honest man. Who's in charge here? Greg, George, oh. search those people. Hold it. We'll not be picking pockets now, will we? No, not yet. Red, George, check the last car. Dynamite Jake's checking it. It's done. Give me a hand, Red. 
What'd you find? Damn the scare ever, Saul. Looks heavy. I'll take him anyway. We never leave empty handed. Here's supper. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hopkins. Sorry for your trouble in your time. But then life's nothing but trouble in time, eh? Let's get moving. That's a pretty shabby job. You proud of yourself, you company? Oh, shut up. Let's get on out of here. Don't just go riding off like that. But what about that fire? That fire on the tracks. How are we supposed to put it out? Piss on it. Well, let's round up those pigs. Hey, get this door shut. Stowaways! Mr. Hopkins! Hey, you're not supposed to be in here. I get out! Ah! Hey! Hey, come on now! Hey, Mr. Hopkins, there's a crazy lady in there! Jane! Hey, stop! Oh, you're bound for California, huh? Well, this train goes another 50 miles. It'll leave you a thousand to go. You can sprint the last leg. We're working our way west. All right, back with the humans, you little mites. Let's go. I'm from the engine with me. to take into the waters, are you? May I humbly request that you get back to work? But... but There'll be no but here. But, Mr. Morgan, she burned her hands. Oh. Now, it's insolence, is it? I mean, I have a full house out there, and now my scullery trash wish to become insolent, while me china just mounts up like the Tower of Babel. <laughs> you clumsy little wench, come here! Party uh. that! Be some wages lost there for sure if I don't miss my guess. little wench. I'll have my pay. You what? And don't you stand there looking like a moonstruck baboon either. I have it now. You owe me a week, a quarter a day, fair and square. Now, you listen to me. I'll teach you some ass. You scum sucking son of a bitch! I have resigned! Do you understand that? Out! Out! You ungrateful little winch! Out that door! I believe, sir, I shall depart through the front portal. Come, Jenny. Oh, no. You brats will not exit through the front of my establishment. There are people out there. I and Jenny are people! <laughs> I'll give you people. Abby! 
you ulcer. If you wish to keep your nose, we shall go now, Jimmy. Have your head high. like we planned. How? What are you gonna do? I'll think of something. You always do. Let's smoke. Oh, come on. Think you got any money, cowboy? Well, well, well. What you two big city bells doing out this way? Heard you were standing still there, right? And we're just plumb out of breath getting here. <laughs> I'd have lit this on your beard, El Rod, if you had one. Smoky, puppy. I well, look at her. What you two big shots of the restaurant business doing today? Thought you were supposed to be working. I resign. I've come to the conclusion my future lies elsewhere. Mine, too. I bet you all were fired. Of course, I, I could use my influence out at the mighty RZ. Oh, El Rod, if you weren't so dumb and ugly, I wouldn't feel so sorry for you. I don't think I would talk. I wouldn't even ask you to dance. Oh, El Rod, you're such a man. You're local as shit. Marry me, marry me. I'll have all 12 of your children, and you can beat me when you can jump and you can't punch your face. <laughs> you're great. <laughs> Dignified. What the hell is this? It's just the whole goddamn doing Dalton gang. Good day. Nice autumn afternoon. Don't let us stop you hard-working people from your frolic. Thought I knew some folks in these parts. Times do change. Bill! Bill! Corey! Bill Dillon! We'll be needing some things, Corey. And set up all these good men with some of your finest corn. Not that swill you sell the poor but honest. <laughs> Bought a drink in your life. Well, boys, you got the girl. Definitely around, you give her a twirl. Come on. Hang on, ladies. You're walking around. Boys. Hang on. 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 Hang on.
Well, you're looking fit. How'd you like to beat my partner, Mr. Dalton, if you've got the time? Gentlemen, compliments of Bill Doolin. these people. We used to have friends around here, Corey. I would love a sassarette. Mister, oh, would you please? We've had warmer welcomes. Well, so it goes. More and more people are coming in here every day. And the more people there are, the less to be friends, it seems. Sounds ass backwards. But what don't these days? Civilization's coming here, Bill. Be careful it don't get you. Civilization, huh? Well, let me tell you. Civilization is going to have to get in line behind all those coming to get me. I got Heck Thomas. Chris Matson and old Bill Tillman on my big old butt. Jeez. Now, I'll just open up here for you, Bill, and then we get you something decent to drink. Corey, you, uh... You got some dead weight around here that can keep two eyes open after sundown? <laughs> Getting cautious in your old days. Not much law here yet. I haven't lived this long listening to stock heaps. Hmm. What about these young fools lollygagging this way? Hey, you dolts, here now. Mr. Doolin wants to talk to you. How cute. You men know your butts from a waterhole? I think so, sir. You think so? Yes, sir. Well, for what I want, I guess you don't have to be too sure. But if you mess up, you'll find your butts full of double off. Now, let me tell you what I want. You, cover the road into town. You two boys cover the road out of town. You see any strangers, you hightail it back and let me know. Corey's opening up. Now maybe we can get a man's drink. From Corey? Jesus, that'll be a change. I'll be seeing you. Gonna stay and watch. Jesus, Corey, your whores melt. What the hell do you call that? Huh? That's Irish whiskey. Does it taste like Irish whiskey to you? Made it in my own back room. Hell no. Corey, here's a list of the things we'll need. I try to steal a kiss from you, little girl. I ain't a little girl. Take one step toward me again and I'll kick you in your eggs. My what? Your eggs! <laughs> He must be the brains of this gang, seeing she's got all the brawn. <laughs> Doolin. Mr. Doolin to you. You're really Mr. Doolin. Unfortunately, the one and only. Corey. Give these two ladies a root beer and a sweet or two. There you are, little girl. Oh, boy, that's what I'd like. Why don't you give me one of those? How about you, Red? Little girl, take it. <laughs> you don't want it? We'll have a whiskey. Oh, a what? Whiskey. Oh, you will, Red. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> will it be neat or branch? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have whatever the boys are having. We ain't boys, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. Belly up to the bar. Well, the fool and will take you at your word. 
I don't know. What's your name? Annie. Well, you've heard of it, little Annie? Annie? <laughs> little Bridges. <laughs> A toast. May you ride long and hard. Aye, 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 aye. aye. for a piece to the wind. I've read all about you fellas. Through Mr. Ned Butline's literary works. I've followed all your deeds of daring, do and bravery. This is Ned Budline. Now, what the hell does he know about us? Everything, Bill. Everything. Mr. Doolan! Riders, Mr. Doolan! How many? Two I've seen. Th there's more. Let's move. Annie. Let's get the hell out of here. Sick. Come on, boys. Let's all waste any time. Oh, jeez, be fast. You'd make a good hour. about a half a dozen gentlemen ride this way recently. Now, I'm not looking for an informer. Just a nod. Here and there will do. Well, 
Well, let me tell you then why I'm here. I'm looking for Mr. Bill Doolin, to be exact. Well, come on, folks, he's no hero. He robs banks. And those banks is your money. Yeah, and who do you work for? The United States government. But if you see uh, Mr. Doolin before I do, you can tell him that uh, I'm going to get him. I'm coming to get him, and get him I shall. As those amongst you who know me can believe. You're getting a little old, aren't you, Bill Tillman? Be running down the best. He may be the best. All the rest are dead. But you can tell old Doolin that old Tillman is coming after him. And I'm going to bury his calloused ass into the dirt. That clear? The horse is uh, dead tired. So why don't you just take him to the corral? Yes, Mr. Tillman. Now, is there a gentleman named Corey hereabouts? Here, sir. Anything I can do for you, gents? Maybe. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Sold my stuff and all the rest. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Don't you rock em, daddy -o. 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 All of our clothes into our trunk. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Find me a bar and drink me drunk. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Don't you rock em, daddy -o. Daddy old day, don't you rock em, daddy old day, don't you rock em, daddy old day. When I find me an outlaw man, sail away, lady, sail away. Sail away out to another land, sail away, lady, sail away. Don't you rock em, daddy old day, don't you rock em, daddy old day. Don't you rock em, daddy old day, don't you rock em, daddy old day. Where'd you borrow the pistol from? A legacy for my dear dead daddy. A hero of the Confederate Army. Giant falsehood. Your daddy died from the consumption issues, mine died from drink. So be it. But a person can go a long way out here with a pistol. All this is wrong, Annie. It's too soon to tell what is right or wrong. Are you with me or not? I'll not be a white nigger slave woman my whole life long. I'd rather burn like a fire. Are you with me? I'm with you, Annie. 
Well, I'm hot, tired, and we're out of water. That will pass. You ride hard now. And live high later. Little Creek Newcomb would not lie to me. Doolin will take us in. Jenny? Huh? Do you ever do it? Do what? You know what. Yeah, I know what. And you know I haven't, so why'd you ask? Sometimes people lie about stuff like that. Well, neither have I. But I'm gonna do it with Bitter Creek Newcomb. Oh, Annie. In my mind. Like a hot coal. Really? Oh. You must not leave me. I ain't gonna leave you. some to the earth before you drink she'll always provide you something. God damn it. Now that is an odd spectacle. <laughs> what do you boys make of that? there, Better Creek? I believe we've all met before. Ain't they them testy Guthrie strumpets? Put them in the shade, get them some water. What's this all about, Braid? They just want to consort with some lowlife. Well, the shot shows well. Now, suppose you just take them back where you got them. You hear me, Breed? You got pig shit for brains. Two goddamn children. Now, what the hell is this? I don't know what this is. It used to be a gang. And a good one. But now it's just a bunch of bums on a run. You never said that to my brother Bob and Lift to tell it. You trying to imply, Mr. Newcomb, that you got better ideas? Robbing this train was your thought, and I let you have your way. Maybe we can steal more toys from tiny trains. That's your idea of brilliance. And under your brilliance, we've come to all this. I, I 
just got here. I I just got here. I tend to agree with Mr. Newcomb. These fellas and these surroundings are sore on the eyes and do not do justice to your reputation. You, Mr. Dynamite Dick, as I recall, you should either grow the beard or shave. What you got now is near disgusting in appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Girls look sorely beat. Red, make a place for them to rest. Use my bunk. something a little bit more solid in your guts. Annie! Catch! Jenny, it's the baseball! <laughs> Where'd you get all this stuff? You mean you never heard of the great baseball train robbery? Hey, can you fellas play this game? Not enough of us. Rule book here says you gotta have nine. The way I remember seeing the game played back east, they used two teams. That's right. Well, I'll divide the team, and then I'll explain the particulars. What the hell's that? Goddamn first base. across from these louts. Hey! Are you girls coming in? In front of all these people? Gentlemen, I believe the ladies would like to bathe. <laughs> I don't trust them. Make them close their eyes. Well, I can't get most of them to keep them open. However, Mr. Dalton and I will become trees. You girls made this row behind us. Get back, Raynor. No looking at the ladies. Mr. Waitman, Mr. Buck, get back. Get your ass back in there. Let me know when you're ready, girl.
Chrysler. Got to the boarding house. This one's ready to go with us, seems to me.
Marlow. about this place. What's going on here? Anybody hurt? Uh-uh. Somebody fix up any. Bill. I'm afraid we got your girls into some trouble. But we'll get you out. She got to sell this one. That was a smart move with them cattle, Annie. How much longer you figure we got? We're five minutes late already. Let's get moving. Back to Rockford. Down that poor horse. But your horse, Annie? Sorta. Of. Yeah, you ride on out. I'll do what's gotta be done. No, I'll do what must be done. Seems to me all the right words are getting into all the wrong ears. 
Archie Dalton. That was great support you gave Bill back there. Where'd you learn that from your brothers in Coffeeville? Watch your mouth. I think you're losing it, Dolan. Christ, they know every move we make. Yeah, they sure as hell do. And that is exactly how my brothers got it. A goddamn week to go back to the water. Ah, for they Christ's sake, Dolan, you and your you bloody... Where are you going, my bloody... bloody... All right, that's enough. I say we lay up. Well, it says here, but Doolan has an ironclad discipline and an almost Oriental-like concentration. The hell is this? Let me see that. The Fantastic Adventures of the Doolin Dalton Gang by Ned Buntline. Here, get my name in there. Let me see. Now, wait a minute. Big Bill Tillman. Bigger and possibly smarter than the Agent Bill Doolin. Shit. Don't carry the bloody thing. Agent Bill Doolin, my ass. I'll show Ned Buntline how my story ends. The Doolin Dalton gang rides again. Yeah! What are you trying to prove? My daddy once told me about Saturday night. He said, go big or stay home. There were no pig shit on this one. <laughs> how can you be so sure about that? Well, I'll tell you, Bitter Creek. I got an almost oriental-like concentration. Well, what's the plan? Ah, the plan. This time, it's going to be different. This time, you'll all be dressed to the nines, just as pretty as you please, in suits and ties. And we'll go strolling through the town. <laughs> like upright, honest citizens. Start <laughs> on a holiday. Bill Dickey Raylor. Yes, sir. I want you to go to Corey's for some more supplies. And whilst there, I want you to purchase two nice snappy bonnets for the little girls. You, Red, you'll put your big mouth to use now. You'll go into the town and you'll spread the word that come Thursday, Thursday next, we're going to take the train with the big mine payroll. Only we won't be there. But Tillman, Tillman will. Better make all the papers back home. All the big papers back east. Ah, <laughs> that's the <laughs> And Bitter Creek, you, along with Whiteman, go to the old man and bring back some fresh horses. We'll want the finest. And the ladies. Ah, yes, the ladies. You'll be down at the creek, washing and pounding our clothes so it'll be nice and clean for the occasion. You're all going to look just dandy. That stinking breed to scout ahead. Breed's half animal. Smell danger. Hey, Annie, you hear what they said about your precious Bitter Creek, huh?
I wish to withdraw some money from your bank. Follow it. Everybody on the floor. No, 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 Dickie, no. Stop! You there. Out here. Move! Hey, you. Shake it. I put some green in the bag. This is, there's no fast, son. He's trying to tell you we don't have any sacks. Every bank has a sack. I swear, we're fresh out. Well, any of you guys bring a sack? Nobody brought a sack. All right. Off with your pants. What? Off with your pants. What? Get her alive! Get that goddamn thing to us right now! All right, son. Put the money on the counter. Both drawers. Come on. Nice work there, Junior. Now let me have that watch. Oh, come on. Ooh, look at that. Got one just like Dalton. <laughs> I'll tie that boy. Here come the girls. I knew it. I knew that son of a bitch didn't like trains. than a greased pig. Good morning, gentlemen. Better stop there. Because that's as far as you're going to go. Who speaks? U.S. Marshal Bill Tillman. I've heard of you. And I've heard of you, too, sir. What now, sir? Well, if you're going to walk out of this town, you're going to have to get by me first. Everybody stay put. Goddamn shooting gallery. Easy, George, easy. Now, I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to walk towards the middle of the street. Keep your hands up and keep them up high. Get him! Disgrace my boot. That dumb asshole, George. He's dead. I want one. I want one. Wait a minute. I got enough dynamite to blow this old goddamn town apart. Yes, and us too. Julian, you got one minute to come out with your hands up, or I'm gonna blow the back of the bank off. So far, you've done them two girls and George a great service. You got any moves left, old man? Condoms. He's a deputy. No, we need him. Cut the rope. What's your name? Caps. Roger Caps. You a family man? Yeah. Then you want to be selling shoes instead of playing pots you ain't suited for. Red. Tillman! We've got your Roger Caps. And I would not like to be him. Bill! The people want to see you hang! 
And I shall see that they do. Now give up, Bill. All things come to an end. You two stay put down. Breathe. Get him up. Get up. Get right, my guy. The rest of you men gather around here. Real close. It's our ticket to safety. Gentlemen, we're coming out. Hold your fire. If it's a fair starter, you'll lose your men. Can't do that, Bill. This ain't a game no more. Lord, that's your big fat ass, Bill Tillman! What the hell's wrong with you, Bill Doolin? Shielding yourself with two little girls? Holding a man's life to protect your own? Do as they say, Bill. They know I'm the law. Bill, please. So be it. All right. Put your guns down and keep them down. Dynamite, Raider, pick up George. Move. Annie, Jenny, come on up. Get on the damn horse. Caps out. And can see for miles out there, Tillman. I see one cloud of dust. Your caps will die. You ain't gonna kill that man, Bill Doolin. Red Buck and Dynamite will. One wrong move, I'm gonna send him home in an envelope. It's on your head, Bill. Morning. Excel. I hold the keys to heaven or hell. We can let our Mr. Caps go now. You can have a nice walk. All right, Jack. Folks, it's sick and tired of your kind, Bill Doolin. You know that young fella at the bank? The teller? So he's been on the job three months. Well, the only valuable he had was his watch. And your man Raylor took it off him. Why don't you leave us alone? Mr. Caps, wait a minute. Got the man's watch, Dickie? Just want to be punctual. Give it to Mr. Caps. Give it to him. Dynamite. Yes. Give him fifty dollars. You can buy Mr. Tillman and his boys a drink. Or anyone else we've inconvenienced. Why don't you give them something for widows and orphans, too, while you're at it? Reed, the money is nothing. And I'm tired and I'm weary and we've lost a good friend. So shut up! Mr. Dillon. Yes? Don't go back to Rockfort. They know about it now. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. I'm death, I come to 
claim your soul Leave the body and leave it cold Drop the flesh off of your frame The earth and worms both have a claim What is that I can see By fingers taking hold of me My name is Death, none can excel I hold the keys to heaven or hell We have some friends just up ahead We're all strung out about as far as we can go The old man's hovel is nearby God damn weather can't last forever. It's only three months. It's called the rainy season, Bill. Your two gals will probably catch your death of cold. You girls all right? I feel so bad that George is dead, Bill. George was a good man. Those aren't good men up there. Well, they're good men, but... But they aren't good men, if you know what I... In the end, we ain't doing right. A good man does right. You and Annie should go your own way. As quick as we can fix it, little bitches. My name is Jenny. Jenny, I'm going to give you and Annie some money right now. And when we get through this night, you'll be off for something more fit. It's gone. All of it. It's gone! <laughs> for this old man? Mm -hmm. Never thought I'd live to see the day I couldn't get some free advice. This world of pissants and grovelers is about the only thing that people give each other with no strings attached. Here. So I started taking. salt and a handful of memories. Let's see what's going on down there. Splitting up down there. But you can still be brave. And I'll follow you to the end, Bill.
talking? What do you think? Uh, I'm going back to politics in California, Bill. I don't know why the hell I ever left in the first place. I think I'll go on a vacation myself. Tell me, Breed. Them hot springs. All Indian folks say they're rejuvenating. Any truth to that? So the legend goes. We know that... that all legends end in bullshit, don't they, Doolin? Well, I'll just try and see if this one works. You coming back? Yes, I'm coming back. And when I do, we'll all be of one mind now, won't we? I don't know. I'm with you, Bill Dolan. Mr. Dolan, to you, kid. We just gonna let him leave? Let him go. I think he's through. Yeah, we all through. See a free man out for a morning ride? And where are you headed all alone now? Corey, I haven't lived this long, idly given my destination to stock heaps. Yeah, but as you're living, Mr. Doolin, I hear you're a running man more than other than these days. You trying to tell me something, Corey? Me? Why, no, Mr. Doolin. What could I tell you? I'm only storekeep. True. Well then, top of the morning to you. Killed. And I was raised with the Sioux. They had the great spirit, but they too were dying. But you have a you have a great spirit in your life. For for your world, you're as brave and as strong as any of us. Go to that world of yours, Annie. Good afternoon, gents. How's business? God's business is always good, my son. What line are you in? Banks, mostly. Investments. Same business you fellas are in. You ain't in business no more, Doolin. Hand me that towel, Bill.
bit of grand chase. Say scat. We gotta get him out. There's a hundred guns around him now, Annie. Isn't there something we can do? You go in there, bust him out. I read about it in the papers. Send you a postcard. Yeah, you get caught, you don't get hung. They had time of year for me to hang. My pa's so busy with the harvest, he couldn't bury me for a while. Is it all over, Annie? Let's go home. It's all gone bad with killing and all. I told you I'd never leave you. But I'll leave you now. Doolin needs a friend. And I'll be it if you one way son of a bitches won't. As friends, you all suck ditch water. Child, life ain't one of your dime novels. If you don't live it, it ain't worth a dime anyway. Are you coming, Jenny? I'd rather go down with Bill Doolin than scatter like a bunch of cockroaches in the light. You coming, you blubbering little bitch? Don't you call me a bitch. You're about as tough as a toad's belly, little girl. Watch your mouth run like a wimpy weasel with the rest of the... <laughs> 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 And stand off my goddamn horse! Let's go. Let's you and me get Bill. Better take old Brownie with you. She's packing some grub. You all rode good and hard. You all ride long and low.
And don't you come back till you sell all them papers. Born crazy, nothing matters anyway. Please, officer, we've got a customer in there. Pepper. got Bill Dillon in this jail? Right behind two steel doors. Mm. Now you two get your little butts the hell out Look, of my way. see, she's, I mean, he's, he's got a gun that second. We're here to bust Bill Dillon out of jail. Now how the hell are you going to do that? Well, Annie here's going to pull out this gun of hers, tell you to open those two steel doors or she'll blow your brains out. If you say you don't believe her, she's just crazy enough, she might just blow your brains out. So, Annie, let's get on with this thing, pull the gun out. And open those doors, or blow your brains What's out. What's going on here? I believe her. You will, then either of you make a sound. For I'm in the soup so deep, I don't care what happens to me. And as you can see, I'm not very concerned with what's going to happen to you if you don't do what Annie says. Annie? Right! You're right! You open those doors now and lead us to Doolin. And if you do well, you'll be here to read something besides your obituary in tomorrow's... tomorrow's Empire City Herald Examiner. Now commence us bringing the bill, Doolin. Get up, Bill. It's me and Jenny. Wake up, damn it. We ain't got all day. But hold it. Get the guns. All right. Easy does it. Easy now. Okay. So, come to see old Doolin, have you? Bring him out, boy.
Here you are, Bill. Here they are. The last of the duel and Alton gang. They come to bust you out. You're really scraping the barrel, ain't you? No. They're two of the best. Now, Bill Tillman here, he's a decent man, even though he is on the wrong side of the law. But he promised me that if he ever caught up with you two, he'd see you got a square deal. Ain't that right, Bill? We well, I'm a man of my word. Well, what are you going to do with this? Uh, well, if the, um, uh, where's your family? Where's your father, Annie? Serving his third term in the United States Senate. Enough, Annie. We ain't got none, Marshal. Jenny's right. Well, then we may send you east to get the idea of being an outlaw out of your heads. What's it gonna be like? Being in jail back east. Listen. You're young. Bill and me, we're old. What I'm trying to say is just don't waste your time with old cowboys. I'll never forget you two. You're the only ones that came. The gang! I think Dynamite came too.
Oh, the son of a bitch! They'll be all right! It's off! Okay, just hold your fire, like I said now. Ain't nothing but a couple little girls. I and Ginny are outlaws. And all of you low life scabby Pinkertons can kiss my ass. Where are you coming? No! following